Today we're going to talk about the Payable Apps add-on for Google Forms uh, and some troubleshooting around Google Sheet issues. If you've never used Payable Google Forms, um, it's worth checking out one of our other videos that teach you how you can make any Google Form payable uh, to accept payment from your customers. This video, however, is specific to troubleshooting with users who are having trouble with their Google Sheet. So when you use Google Forms, and especially together with the Google Payable Forms add-on, all of your responses not only go into the Responses tab, right now I'm looking at a, a sample form that I have, uh, and all of the responses, of course, come into your Responses tab, which is very common for surveys, and it kind of lets you look at individual responses here. But most of our users will track their responses and their payment statuses in the connected Google Sheet. So this little icon here will allow you to link directly over to the connected Google Sheet. So each time your form is submitted, uh, these uh, information comes into the Google Sheet here. And all the way over to the right, you can see here I have some uh, payable forms columns. And these are the columns that our software adds so that you can check the status uh, of each of your orders. We create an order ID, uh, the, we calculate the total, we keep track of the status here and the last updated date. So the first thing that some users run into trouble with is they accidentally delete this sheet file. And then what ends up happening is Google, when your form is submitted, they don't know where to put the data. And our add-on also no longer has a spot to update the order ID and the response details. So one of the things that you should do is you should come here um, to your responses tab in edit mode of your form. And you can click this three dots right here. And what this will do is it will show you select response destination. And so if you choose this, you can see an existing spreadsheet, where it is, responses are currently being sent to this spreadsheet. And there's a link here. If you click on this and it says file not found or that the sheet is missing, um, then you're obviously running into an issue where this data is not coming to your spreadsheet. So the first thing to do is figure out where your response data is going. And so that is here, select response. Um, so first you click the three dots, select response destination. If you wanna choose it, a different spreadsheet, you can do that as well. You can create another spreadsheet, but in this situation, we can see that it's already connected to an active sheet. Um, so the next thing that happens sometimes, so that's one thing to definitely check that that is set up and working. The other thing that happens sometimes is that people uh, mess up their sheet, okay? So what I'm gonna do is proactively mess this sheet up. I'm gonna delete some data inside. Now, Google is always keeping track of your version history. However, we have had customers mess up their sheet so bad um, by putting different sorts on it that um, ended up doing kind of weird things and they messed up all of the order and all of the different pieces to the point that they didn't know anymore if these orders were lining up correctly or if they had got all of their orders. And so I'm just gonna delete a few more rows here, um, delete row. And so now this, this sheet is, is kind of, it's mixed up and it's messed up. The good thing is that all of your response data is always stored here in the Google form and that this is really just a copy of it. It's sent across. So if it has happened that you've messed up your sheet so much and you kind of want to start from scratch, these are the next steps that we recommend you go through. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to my Google form. I'm going to come here and I am going to unlink the form. And what this is going to do is disconnect. So it's going to say, are you sure you want to unlink the spreadsheet? And I'm going to say, yeah, let's unlink it. So that means that this um, square demo form responses, what I'm actually gonna do is just update the title to call like old, uh, maybe mixed up. And so this is my old spreadsheet and I'm gonna mark it as old and mixed up. And so I'm maybe going to even abandon this spreadsheet. So what I'm gonna do now is maybe just refresh the page once, but come back over here to responses. I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna go select response destination. I'm going to make a brand new spreadsheet. Okay, so it's going to, and it's, this is what it's going to call it uh, Square Responses. I can even call it new if I want to. So, Responses new and hit create. Okay, 
So as soon as that happens, what we will be able to do is I'm gonna close my old responses tab, is I'm going to hit view responses in sheet, and it's gonna bring up that new square demo form responses new. And uh, Google has kindly re-entered all of my submissions for me. So you can see here, I have timestamp, email addresses, all the data that was there before um, when I did this is now back. So the next step, however, is you can see it's missing the payable status. So how do I know what um, status these are in? We're going to have to uh, resync the payable statuses based on these. So step two is we're going to go back into the add-on. So we're going to go puzzle piece, payable forms. I'm going to go configure payment settings. And this will reopen the add-on sidebar here. I'm going to open the getting started section and I'm going to click on auto configure form and sheet again. So you probably did this once when you set it up, but I'm going to click on it one more time. And so that's going to look at my newly connected sheet, right? Because we just connected a new sheet. So uh, the Google form is telling us what sheet to update. And now when we go in here, you'll see the header is now purple again. And our new columns are here, payable order ID, all the statuses are also here. So you've gone from having a mixed up sheet to a fresh sheet with all the submissions and now you have empty payable columns. So now a lot of these may have already had an order ID associated with them and a total calculated and maybe even a payment, but it's not showing in your Google Sheet. The way to solve that is we're gonna go back into the Google Form, we're gonna hit Puzzle Piece, Payable Forms, and then we're gonna hit Generate Missing Payable IDs. So we're gonna choose this menu option here. And so what this does is it's going to start looping through the uh, responses and looking for any that are missing an order ID in your, um, in your sheet. And it is going to, if it is already in existing, it will update and provide you with the information on its existing status. And if we didn't find it existing, we will send an email out to the customer with the order ID. And that email will go to the very first e the email address here, which was included as part of the form. So you can see this is clicking through uh, and re-updating all of the statuses for me. And so now, you know, it took about five or 10 minutes, but I have a fully updated and brand new sheet. So everything is looking good. So I have all of the data resunk from my Google form um, and I have all the payment data regenerated and pulled from payable forms here. If the auto generate script runs out or times out after it hits 100 or so you can run it again and it'll start over from the missing ones um, and so you might have to just be patient with it but it should sync up all of your statuses. So that is how you would go back through and collect those. Now, the last thing to do we typically always recommend is, hey, just place a test order again and make sure everything is working as expected. So I'm just going to do joe at email.com. I'm going to say next. I'm going to get a basic option. Um, no subscriptions. Give me this and this. Submit. I'm going to go on to the transition link. Um, this was joe at email.com was our order. And there is the order. Um, here are the things I ordered and everything kind of looks good. So if you're able to generate an order, that's a good sign. And so let's, let's take a look at our Google Sheet. And so you can see there timestamp, Joe, my option, and the order ID and the order status. So I hope that's helpful to those of you who are troubleshooting with maybe a Google Sheet that seems to have either come disconnected or your Google Sheet was accidentally deleted or your Google Sheet was uh, ruined beyond repair. Now, always remember that your edits and your version history are typically here. So, you know, you can see the different versions and you can go in and you can go back in time. So you might be able to revert back to a time when your sheet was in a better status, but if you have to, um, you can always uh, regenerate and create a new sheet that way. Google will give you all your data back. Okay, I hope that was helpful. And if you have any other questions, feel free to chat with us in help.payableapps.com. Uh, you can chat with us there. Cheers.